I always wanted to have a bandsaw, but I didn't have enough money to buy a good one. And I don't want the cheap ones, the plastic ones. But what I do have is a lot of time here during quarantine, so I made it myself. It's kind of a hybrid bandsaw because I'm using both wood and steel. I'm combining these two materials because I want to find some kind of a middle ground between the high strength and stiffness of steel and the low price of wood. This is all the wood that I needed for the frame. It's surprisingly not that much. In total I made the frame from 7 layers, uh, which gave me 15 cm total thickness. And I used uh, 150 screws and half a liter of glue. I know the wood itself is strong enough, it will not break under tension, but it's not stiff enough. I want to add steel reinforcement to help with the stiffness, so when the blade is running, it's uh, running under tension. And with this steel reinforcement, um, the frame will not deform, it will not bend that much. For some reason I thought that this one layer of brown paper will protect the wood from the heat. Well, it didn't and there are some burn marks, but they are hidden by the reinforcement itself, so no one will ever see it. Unless I talk about it, like I'm doing right now. These will be the rails for the upper wheel assembly to move in. As I said, you have to make it adjustable. The upper wheel has to be able to move down to release the tension when you want to change the blade and to move back up when you want to cut again.
So this is the blade guide. Um, it makes sure the blade cuts straight while still allowing you to cut uh, different thicknesses conveniently. So there's an inner tube which moves in an outer tube uh, and ideally with uh, zero side to side movement. And that's a tricky part to manufacture if you don't have a milling machine, which I don't have. The only way to do it uh, is by welding the outer tube from four individual pieces. But when you are welding, you have to be extremely careful not to overheat one spot locally, because the tube will bend. Instead, you want to do little welds, jump from left to right, rotate the tube as much as possible. Basically try to heat it up uniformly, because then it will just expand and shrink, which you don't mind, but it will not bend. But it still warped on me. Um, it was hard to get it out and I wasn't able to move it, so I had to spend like an hour grinding the inner wheel, trying to make the fit better, and this is the result. I drilled and tapped two holes uh, to attach uh, two little bearings that will keep the blade from moving left to right. And there will be another one in the back that will make sure the blade doesn't run away from you when you push the wood into it. So as I said, these two bearings can rotate when there is some side pressure. And I still have to weld the back bearing uh, probably somewhere over here. And it will be attached to the sliding part with some screws so that I can move it uh, if I ever wanted to use a bigger blade. That was the first part of this bandsaw series. Thank you for watching and get ready for the next one.